Watch out Harry and Meghan, here comes Uncle Gary's truth bomb. In an exclusive interview, Kate's relative says the Duchess of Sussex is jealous of his niece because she makes it look effortless. Gary Goldsmith is feeling a little bit shell-shocked after watching the Duke and Duchess of Sussex drop their final truth bombs about the dirty game of royal life, courtesy of Netflix. I feel slightly sullied and dirty, the whole thing just beggars belief. So he'd like to fire back a few truth bombs of his own, even though the royal family in the palace, grey suits, would probably prefer him to keep his mouth firmly shut. I think Catherine and William will be feeling deeply wounded, they love Harry and they miss him. There's nothing Catherine would want more than for the brothers to be reconciled, because that's the real love story here. Two brothers who love each other, but have been torn apart. The real fairy tale love story is Catherine and William. They're now working together as a cohesive unit, while the other fairy tale couple in America are being massively disruptive, says Gary. I think if anything, it's Meghan who's jealous of Kate, because she makes it look effortless. When it is, as Meghan discovered, such hard work. I think Kate is perfect for the job. She was born for it, and the partnership that she's got with William is fantastic. I think it was that very early running into that allegedly happened when she was first dating Harry and staying at Kensington. The one where supposedly Meghan mentioned she just happened to be heading out into town to go shopping at the same place Catherine happened to plan to go. And Catherine didn't invite her to insert herself into a shopping run and tag along in the same car, where Meghan probably would have texted paparazzi on the way. The fact that it was leaked shows how miffed Meghan was by it. I think that started Meghan having it out for Catherine, looking for ways Catherine had wronged her and creating her own storyline around that time. She was pouting Catherine didn't let her get a pap shot, which I imagine Catherine had a much more innocuous reason. It didn't occur to her to carpool, and Meghan blew it all up in her head because she tantrums and gaslights and manipulates when she doesn't get what she wants. And we know that she ultimately ended up telling Harry she would break up with him if he didn't accost the press and announce their relationship. She'd already tried it the subtle way, getting photographed with Catherine coming and going from Kensington, or walking around in a circle by herself with that shopping totem wellies. It wasn't enough. To me, the series felt not only scripted and inauthentic, but unfair, self-interested, unreasonable and untrue, especially when done in the knowledge that William and Catherine could never answer back. Gary sighs, then adds of his niece, who he often called Kate. As her uncle, I can tell you that this presentation of Kate as cold is just laughable. Everyone loves Kate. She's the most beautiful girl, even more beautiful on the inside than out. She's got a big heart and desperately wants the boys to get back together. You could see that at the funeral of Prince Philip, when it was the three of them together, you could see the bond. Kate is really welcoming and such a gorgeous girl, so to imply she's cold was really hard, a bitter pill to swallow. If this is where Meghan starts, then where is it going to end? Remembering Kate as the little tomboy she was as a child, I think there's nothing more she'd like to do than spend all day in jeans and wellies, playing with the children, but she understands and respects her role.